Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect red lip. To start, it's always important to have very hydrated lips, so I'm going to be applying one of my favourite daily lip conditioning products, Lucas Pawpaw Ointment. You only need a small amount because if you have too much, your lips will become a bit too slick and the product won't stick. Once that's applied, I like to define my lips using a red lip liner in a similar colour to that of my lipstick. So start off with a good outline, taking it all the way into the corners of your mouth and once you're happy with the shape, fill in the rest of your lips. And what this does is throughout the night or the day when you've been drinking or eating or kissing somebody and your lipstick will inevitably fade, what you'll be left with is a really nice overall red stain from the lip liner as opposed to a kind of strange red outline on your lips. Once you've got your lip liner done, we're going to add a little bit of depth and shine with one of my favourite red lipsticks. It's Lancome Rouge and Love and the shade is 159B. I absolutely love the shade. It can be worn day or night without looking too over the top and it's really, really nourishing and has great staying power. So I'm just going to apply the lipstick um, within the lines of my lip liner, focusing on the centre of my lips. As you can see, that's given it a um, fuller, more glossy look. Now, if you wanted it slightly more mattified, you can get a piece of tissue, fold it in half and just press your lips together on it. And that gives it a more matte look. So there you have it, a quick, easy and utterly striking red lip look. Um, now with all red lipsticks or any lipstick, um, don't forget to give your teeth a quick once over with your tongue to ensure that there's no product residue on there and keep your eye makeup to a minimum because you want your lips to be the focus of your face.